This is about the lovely, talented, and controversial author George Sand. Of course, George Sand is the male pen name of this female author. So I'll start at the end of the sentence. We have a split between these and them. Them is more appropriate, talking about actual people rather than portray these. Second of all, we need parallelism between the two verbs. To consider and portray, that's correct. Portraying is incorrect, and portray, to portray, those are all correct. Now finally, the big one is the idiom with the verb to consider. So we have all kinds of options here. To consider x to be y, to consider x should be y, to consider x as being y. In fact, all of these are incorrect. To be should be as being. And the, the principal one that's correct, just to consider x, y. I consider Paul Simon a great songwriter. I don't need any preposition or anything else. I can immediately follow the noun with the description. So she considered the rural poor legitimate subjects. So that's perfectly correct what we have here. D, it turns out, is also a correct construction, but with a very different sense, as if they were. That implies something contrary to fact. For example, my barber knows so much about medicine, I consider him as if he were a doctor. So it's implying that he's not, in fact, a doctor. Here, it would be implying that, that we all know the rural poor are, in fact, not legitimate subjects of literature. And that's not really the sense of the sentence at all. The sentence has no interest in making a claim like that. All we're saying is that George Sand considered those people legitimate subjects. So D is not right either. And it turns out E is the only one that has the correct pronoun, the correct parallelism, and the correct idiom following the verb to consider. So E is by far the best answer choice.